All right, today we are going to chat about mitochondria, and we're going to talk about mitochondrial health. We're going to talk about how to improve the performance and health of your mitochondria, and then we're going to talk about peptides. Yes, you heard me correctly, peptides that can help with that process. Now, my name is Dr. Michael Mueller. I'm a family medicine physician. I uh, did my residency training at the Mayo Clinic, and I love wellness. I love health, and I love helping you to live a better life. And what are the mitochondria? Well, it's simple, folks. Mitochondria are the powerhouses of the cell. And what does that mean? Well, if you were a car, then the mitochondria are your engine. In fact, what they do is they produce energy, right? Energy, the gas for your body. Your car can't run without gas, and your body and your cells cannot perform without ATP, adenosine triphosphate. And that is energy in our cells and it is made by the mitochondria. So if you're tired, if you're fatigued, if you're not well, if you're unhealthy, your problem could be because you are not making ATP efficiently or that your ATP levels are low. And in order to increase or improve the number of ATP you make, you need to help the mitochondria not only be healthy, but you want to improve its performance. And we're going to talk about how to do that. Now, I love the mitochondria. It excites me, and I hope you two get excited. In fact, your body, your mitochondria, makes so many um, ATP each day that the total amount of ATP made in 24 hours is equal to your body weight. Yes, you heard me correctly. If you weigh 200 pounds as I do, then each day my body makes 200 pounds of ATP. So as you can imagine, if I, my, if my mitochondria aren't working well, that might manifest as fatigue and tiredness. And we're going to talk about supplements and peptides that can help with that. But step one in getting the mitochondria healthy is to be sure that you are healthy, right? You have to live a healthy life. You have to exercise. You have to get rid of bad habits. You shouldn't smoke or drink excessively and you need to sleep well and exercise well. And most of that is common sense, so now we're going to talk about a few things that you can do from a supplement perspective to help your mitochondria. Well, a good diet's going to help, right? Green leafy vegetables, berries, blueberries, raspberries, things like that. Fish, fatty fish like salmon and mackerel and sardines are good for the mitochondria. Nuts and seeds, and then of course things like avocado, eggs, a ketogenic diet, things like this can also help with your mitochondrial health. And if you want to take it to the next level, and that's what we do in my clinic, then you're going to use things such as peptides and things like coenzymes like NAD and peptides or tripeptides like glutathione. These are three things you can get through your doctor to help improve your mitochondrial health. Now, remember, folks, everything here is for education and entertainment. I'm a family physician, but I'm not your physician. Don't take any of this as medical advice. If you need medical advice, please see your doctor and they can help you. But the first thing I would recommend taking is MOTC, M-O-T-S dash C. This is called the mitochondrial derived peptide. And what this does is it helps maintain homeostasis within the um, mitochondria itself. It helps the mitochondria to perform at its highest level, and it helps decrease damage that occurs in the mitochondria. Another peptide you could try is SS31, and this is designed to kind of give the inner, con uh, inner mitochondrial membrane uh, some support. It helps with ATP energy production, and it reduces oxidative stress. I'm a big fan of the next one, and that is epithalon, E-P-I-T-H-A. L O N. It's a synthetic peptide that actually elongates, right, your telomeres. And that's a video for another day. But what it does is it acts, activates tel telomerase, and that's an enzyme that helps to maintain and extend your telomeres. And at the level of the DNA, studies have shown that if you can elongate your telomeres, you live longer. Another thing that I love for mitochondrial health is NAD. In fact, in my practice, when people ask me what one thing should they take, I tell them NAD, and that's nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide. 
It's a coenzyme. It's found in every cell and it's crucial, absolutely crucial for energy production, DNA repair, and for activating sirtuins in the body that help decrease and regulate aging. So NAD is a must have for anyone that's trying to stay healthy. And in my clinic, I encourage people to use NAD weekly. It also helps with mental clarity. It helps with energy. In fact, in my clinic, I've saved many people or helped many people who had chronic fatigue by getting them on NAD and some other peptides. The other one, folks, that I feel is extremely important for mitochondrial health is one of my favorite antioxidants, and that is glutathione, G-L-U-T-A-T-H-I-O-N-E. And glutathione is a master antioxidant. It works everywhere in the body to help detoxify the body, to protect cells, to protect mitochondria, and it protects the body from oxidative stress and free radical damage. And it's a tripeptide, meaning it's composed of three amino acids. So if you want healthy, absolutely healthy mitochondria, these are the peptides you can take. These are the coenzymes you can take. Of course, you don't want to smoke. You want to drink in moderation. You want to get rid of body fat. You want to sleep well, and you definitely want to exercise. So folks, if you want to live longer, if you want a better quality of life, take care of your mitochondria. Please hit the like button and subscribe if you're new. It's always a blessing to serve you. I'll be back at you soon with another video. Bye.